There are discoveries that redefine our place in the universe, and then there are those that force us to question reality itself. You're talking about something the size of a star, the sun, an octillion tons of mass or something like that, getting flung away way faster than a rifle bullet. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye on the cosmos, just captured an image of an interstellar object named 3I Atlas. But the thing nobody tells you is, this wasn't just a picture. It was a glimpse at something that defies the laws of physics, something that appears engineered. NASA was so stunned by the first real image of this visitor that they allegedly tried to classify it immediately. But the truth got out, revealing an object with impossible features that is breaking all the rules. We're not just looking at a comet, we might be looking at the first real evidence of something far more advanced. The image that broke physics. More alarmingly, this image shows a level of structural symmetry around the object's core that simply shouldn't exist in nature. Imagine a snowflake, but forged from rock and ice and spanning several miles. The symmetry displays precise 120 degree angles, creating a distinct hexagonal geometry. Such a pattern doesn't belong on a chaotic, randomly formed rock drifting through space for eons. Scientists at the European Southern Observatory, speaking off record, described it as unsettlingly mechanical in nature. This isn't the kind of language astronomers use lightly. The wow factor here is that nature prefers spheres and irregular clumps, not perfect geometric structures that look like they came off an assembly line. Is this some kind of cosmic artifact, a relic from a long gone civilization? Or are we seeing something far more advanced than any natural process can account for? But that's not even the most physics-defying part. You see, a comet's tail is supposed to flow away from the sun, pushed by solar wind and radiation. That's a fundamental law of astrophysics, as reliable as gravity itself. Until now, 3I Atlas has shattered that principle. In every observation, its tail flows directly toward the sun, a stunning act of cosmic defiance. Early hypotheses suggested extreme, uneven dust jets on its surface could be responsible, but computer simulations quickly ruled that out. No natural venting could produce the symmetrical, stable flow observed. Then came the data from Webb, which deepened the mystery even further. The tail appears to emit its material in pulsed intervals, almost like timed bursts synchronized with the object's 16-hour rotation. These intervals show massive thermal spikes followed by rapid temperature drops, a cycle that aligns perfectly with artificial propulsion systems, not the slow, chaotic outgassing of a natural comet. Even more puzzling is that the tail contains highly reflective particles that mirror specific solar wavelengths rather than absorbing them like normal cosmic dust. In other words, it's not just reflecting sunlight, it's actively manipulating it. Could we be witnessing some form of advanced solar sail or a radiation-based steering mechanism? And if so, who or what would engineer such a thing? What it was doing next, however, was even more unbelievable. A cosmic chess game. There's a natural randomness to the cosmos, but the path of 3I Atlas through our solar system is anything but random. After entering from high above the ecliptic plane, the highway on which planets orbit the Sun, it began a slingshot tour of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. What's crazy is that this trajectory almost perfectly mimics the complex routes NASA engineers design for deep space missions to conserve fuel and gain speed. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who is no stranger to controversial ideas, suggested this might be a deliberately planned gravity assist chain, just like the ones used by the Voyager spacecraft. The thing nobody tells you is, unlike our probes, this object isn't slowing down. It's accelerating with each planetary flyby. Its route is mathematically ideal for dropping observation units or probes at multiple planets without needing to significantly alter its own course. That kind of journey requires incredible forethought, strategic intent, and an astonishing understanding of orbital mechanics. The probability of such a perfect trajectory occurring by pure chance is less than one in a billion. As if that weren't strange enough, the object is predicted to vanish behind the sun precisely when our star is at its brightest and most active phase. This is the exact moment when Earth's telescopes, blinded by the glare, will be completely unable to observe it. It's almost as if it wants to remain unseen during a critical part of its journey. 
So why has there been no official word from the U.S. Space Command or other planetary defense agencies? 3i Atlas is the fastest and largest interstellar object ever detected hurtling through our cosmic backyard at over 130,000 miles per hour. And yet the military and defense sectors are eerily silent. What many have overlooked are the leaked reports from AARO, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, which suggests the object is being used in live simulations for planetary threat scenarios. In other words, this could be a dry run for them, a rehearsal. But a rehearsal for what? Some defense analysts believe that its extreme speed and seemingly artificial behavior make it a perfect candidate for a reconnaissance probe or an autonomous surveyor from another civilization. And since no craft on Earth could possibly intercept it, the situation has become an observer's dilemma. All we can do is watch and wait. Behind closed doors, high-level meetings are reportedly being held, not just about what 3i Atlas is, but about what to do if it sends a signal, or worse, if it suddenly changes course and heads our way. But a hidden detail in the image was about to make everyone forget about its trajectory. A zone of disruption. Upon closer inspection of the leaked web image, a group of independent researchers discovered something even more disturbing. They found an almost imperceptible geometric imprint near the object's luminous core. It wasn't visible in natural light, but Webb's advanced infrared capabilities, which can see heat and structures hidden from the naked eye, revealed it clearly. It was a triangular formation with a central void, surrounded by perfectly spaced concentric arcs. At first glance, it seemed like a sensor artifact or digital noise, but its perfect precision, its fixed location, and the way it shifted consistently with the object's rotation ruled that out. The pattern bore an eerie resemblance to ancient Earth symbols, specifically those found in ancient Sumerian and Vedic diagrams that some fringe theorists associate with celestial contact lore. Mainstream science scoffed at the connection, of course, but the pattern remained undeniable and completely unexplained. Whether it's a design element, an emblem, or a warning, the fact that it exists at all implies one terrifying possibility. This object was built and someone or something left their mark on it. Like an engineer's insignia staring directly into Webb's lens across trillions of miles. Shortly after the image went viral, deep space monitoring stations across multiple continents began reporting bizarre anomalies not just in their data, but in the hardware itself. Spectrometers failed to calibrate. Gyroscopes in both space-based and ground telescopes began drifting out of sync. Radio signals bounced unpredictably from the region of space where 3 I Atlas was last spotted. This wasn't just electromagnetic interference, it was something stranger, an invisible zone of disruption, as if space-time itself had become unstable around the object. Then, low-orbit satellites meant to monitor solar activity started going dark as they passed near the object's projected path. Engineers couldn't explain it. It was as if 3i Atlas was absorbing energy, not emitting it. Then came the breakthrough that caused outright panic. A small team of data analysts discovered embedded fluctuations in Webb's return signal from 3i Atlas. Initially dismissed as noise, these fluctuations formed repeating patterns. When translated into binary code and mapped against known biological structures, the patterns resembled RNA sequences, complex, redundant, and far too specific to be random. It wasn't communication in the traditional sense, it was information meant to be decoded biologically. One scientist described it as a biogenic algorithm, a sequence that, if replicated, might trigger a process in organic matter. Some whispered that it looked like activation code, but activation code for what? Then, just as abruptly as it had appeared, 3i Atlas was gone. Observatories reported it made a sudden, sharp, angular deviation, a turn impossible without massive propulsion, and then vanished from all visible and infrared tracking bands. No exhaust signature, no trail of heat, gone. Right before it vanished, a final burst of light was recorded. 13 flashes, evenly spaced in a pattern eerily similar to Morse code. Experts tried decoding it, but a linguist suggested interpreting it not as language, but as a countdown. The countdown wasn't the end of the story, but the beginning of a much larger one. Contact phase imminent. While the world was arguing about signals and shadows, an anonymous leak on an encrypted forum revealed a far more frightening truth. 
According to documents allegedly pulled from a NASA communication server, 3I Atlas was not the first of its kind. It was the third. Two other interstellar objects, designated Oumuamua and Borisov, had shown similar though less obvious anomalies years earlier, but those were dismissed or downplayed by the scientific community. You see, what many people don't know is that this new leak contains scans, spectrographs, and even transcripts of internal briefings indicating that all three objects followed the same celestial pattern. They arrived exactly six years apart, passed through the inner solar system, and then disappeared. But what shocked everyone most was a single phrase repeated in bold red text across several official documents. Contact phase imminent. This wasn't a coincidence. It was a sequence, a mission, and 3i Atlas, it seems, was never the final object, but the one that signals what comes next. The story gets even stranger. Unbeknownst to the public, a small radio telescope in Namibia detected a sudden spike in microwave frequency shortly after 3i Atlas disappeared. The signal had all the hallmarks of directed communication, but it wasn't aimed at Earth. It originated from near-Earth orbit and was aimed outward toward the precise location 3i Atlas had last been tracked. Analysis revealed fragments of terrestrial communication, packet headers, and even spectral imprints from military satellites. In simple terms, someone on Earth had responded. This wasn't first contact. It was the second, and it had been kept secret from the entire world. When astrophysicists modeled the paths of all three objects together, an unthinkable realization emerged. They didn't just enter the solar system from different vectors, they arrived in a sequential arc, each one penetrating deeper into the inner solar system than the last. When projected onto a three-dimensional star map, their entry points formed a perfect spiral aimed directly at Earth's orbital path. This wasn't random wandering, this was targeting, or worse, mapping. Many experts now fear that these aren't individual probes, but parts of a larger system designed to triangulate a precise location over time. If this pattern continues, the next object, 4i, could appear not in the outer solar system, but already within it. And then, it happened. A minor observatory in Argentina reported a new anomaly, an object on an intercept path similar to 3i Atlas, but larger and moving slower. It was designated 4i. Within hours, all data from that telescope was scrubbed from public access, but not before one final blurry image leaked. A silhouette with three sharp points trailing a faint spiral of light. The next phase has already begun. But what these objects actually are is more terrifying than anyone ever imagined. A brain made of light. With the help of Quantum AI, a coalition of scientists reconstructed a three-dimensional simulation of 3i Atlas. What they found didn't resemble a spacecraft. It resembled a mathematical paradox. Its surface revealed fractal geometry, infinitely repeating self-similar patterns. The entire object was made of this recursive structure, but the truly mind-bending discovery came when the fractal was converted into spatial waveforms. The resulting mathematical functions mirrored the neural activity in the human brain during moments of creative insight and deep sleep. The object's very structure functioned like a brain, one built to understand, simulate, or even invade consciousness. This leads us to the final, most unsettling piece of the puzzle, a strange audio file converted from electromagnetic waves collected by Webb was briefly leaked. Scientists expected static. What they got was a low rhythmic oscillation layered with eerie repeating tones. When analyzed, their waveforms matched the brainwave frequencies observed during deep dream states in humans. The horror came when multiple scientists who listened to the audio reported having nearly identical vivid dreams. Visions of spirals collapsing into blackness and a presence not speaking words but implanting thoughts. It wasn't a message. It was a psychic imprint meant to awaken something inside us. So let's talk directly about what people watching this are probably wondering. Did all this happen overnight? Is this real? Are we missing a key detail? The thing is, the pattern has been emerging for years, hidden in plain sight. It wasn't the leaked image itself that truly terrified scientists. It was the quiet, deliberate rhythm that threaded itself through every discovery. From Oumuamua to Borisov to Atlas, and now the fourth object, 
each one carried a piece of a larger puzzle. This doesn't seem to be an invasion or simple communication. It's something far more subtle and incomprehensible. We are dealing with a presence so advanced it doesn't need to speak. This is calculated emergence. The universe has always whispered truths we refuse to hear, that we are not the center, that we are not the first, and maybe, just maybe, we are not even alone in our own minds. The James Webb Telescope, in its quest to see the dawn of time, may have pierced a veil we were never meant to lift. The signals are already here, but what if they aren't meant for our satellites, but for our DNA? Let us know your theories in the comments. And if you want more cosmic mysteries, make sure to like and subscribe.